Sean, uh, launching a, a special new partnership today, the, the Touch Football Specialised. Do you want to tell us a little bit more about what that will look like? Yeah, no, it's exciting. Uh, it's another opportunity for us to give another group an opportunity to, I suppose, uh, play the game that we all love. And, and these guys are really keen and they love their footy. Just having a chat to a few of them and they're certainly giving their opinions as well on how we're going. So it's, it's a really exciting time for us to, again, branch out in the community and, and engage with these sort of crew as well. So it'll involve a number of gala days, a number of player appearances. They'll get to play starting off this Friday at home time but also many opportunities throughout the year as well and we really just welcome them to our club and hopefully they feel a part of the West Tigers family now. And yeah we started about a year ago in partnership with New South Wales Touch and they pretty much incorporated a team to start with and then we actually got four teams last season. I work with guys day to day out in, in a group home and so I find that when I take these guys to the games they get the gear, they get ready to play, they're, they're really focused on the game and the trip that we just did on the weekend up in Queensland, it was really good, they made a lot of new friends, they got to meet the Queenslanders so that was even better but um, yeah it's just that they've never been exposed to it, it's sort of been, it's sort of been shunned upon for years now and sort of now with people with disabilities there's always the advantages that they have, like some of my players would run rings around me and everybody else so it's really good to see that they can be exposed to it and, and feel part of the team is the main part that we see the benefits. I think again we're just able to give that opportunity to people that through no fault of their own aren't able to have that opportunity on a normal sort of scale so to be able to engage with this group and again uh, use the game that we're so lucky to be involved with uh, for positive change and, and the benefits that come from that from you know, in terms of teamwork, discipline, so as mental health, physical health, all those kind of things to give the opportunity to this group of people is is something that we're very privileged to be able to do and I'm really proud to do it as well. Uh, the main goal of it is just sort of getting involved with mainstream sport and getting the word out there that people with a disability can play like everybody else and they enjoy the social side of the, the friendship, the winning of course, um, and also the competitive nature behind it. So I think exposure with mainstream clubs like the Tigers is really good because then the partnership will help with branching out and hopefully representing the club in the future hopefully because that's the goal to sort of represent mainstream clubs and other NRL clubs out there which is which would be really handy. As well, you know, we're already talking about how we can sort of engage with the certain schools in our region that uh, sort of cater to the needs of these people as well and how we can boost participation in, in this sort of sport as well, and which is, which is a big part for us at, at the youth level but also at the senior level as well. Starting with that exposure, as you say, on Friday night, a special halftime performance by the guys should be pretty exciting. Yeah, no, definitely. I'm hoping, you know, hoping a big crowd will come out and watch them. Uh, it's, it's obviously uh, a big night for us in terms of the NRL and a big win needed there, but also for these guys to be able to run out on, on the hallowed turf at Campbelltown out there. You know, it's a really exciting time for them. They're already pumped about it, and, and I really hope the crowd can get behind it as well and cheer these guys on. And for anyone wanting to get involved, is there, what's the best way for people to get more involved or to get more information about it? Yeah, so for more information, so for hours, we're through Sports for All, so the, the, the number four, um, or even through New South Wales Touch. And yeah, anybody over the age of 16, even kids actually, we bring kings along, kids along as well to play. But um, just contact your local touch team and yeah, just stay on look, I've got someone with a disability that wants to have a game and be part of a team and then just we can, we can connect them that way. Fantastic, can't wait to see the partnership continue to grow. Great, thanks for that.